Okay, Mopar fans, <clears throat> let's walk out to the driveway here. We're going to put this thing back in the garage. I got the new carburetor put on it. Um, hoses, at least for now, the new hoses are coming. And, uh, in any event, I think it's a very nice looking car. It's a 67 Dodge Dart GT convertible with the rare uh, 273 high performance engine in it. It's got a white interior, white top, real pretty. Uh, it's QQ1 dark red or or what they called in, uh, sub in other models the Spanish red metallic. So yeah, very nice. I got the uh, engine dressed up the part as the 273 Hypo. Uh, it's the... Uh, Charger 273. Plymouth was the Super Commando. And, uh, yeah. I'm baking the paint onto the block. Um, detailed all that stuff down in there. And, uh, so anyway, I'm not done yet. <laughs> now the fine details start. So, anyway, um, this thing has a nice set of mufflers on it. And, uh, well, anyway, let's, uh, Give it a, a quick listen. Let's start this puppy up. Ugh. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Alright. You know what? Most people aren't used to a 273 sounding like this. Um, but it's a high performance version. Um, it's not a 340. It's no 340, by the way, but it has some nuts for sure. And uh, very few of these were made. In 67, this was the new body style. You know, the new Dodge Dart. And what made them different is they made them look like the larger cars. Um, like, if you took, like, a, a Coronet or a... a you know, a satellite or anything like that in the B-body line, the more expensive cars. This looks like the same shape. It's just a smaller economy car. So, uh, anyway, beautiful vehicle. Runs out good. A uh, new carburetor makes all the difference. And, uh, yeah. In 67, there were 38,000 GT darts made for this new body style. And there were less than 250 of these convertibles with the high performance engine, which equates to about a half percent of orders. So there you have it, rare Dart GT convertible. And uh, let's put her inside before it gets too hot. There we go, God garage, thank you.